Hey, folks, Dennis Miller here, joined up above all the action by my good friend Amanda Byram, welcoming you to Grand Slam. Tonight, well, quite frankly, four of the greatest game show champions ever enter the quarterfinals, one step closer to our $100,000 and the title of Grand Slam champion. First up tonight, Brad Rutter, our number one seed, who did what number one seeds do in the opening round. Throttled Lingo's Amy Kelly. He takes on Ogiogos, who has used his first round matchup as a warm up for this heavyweight battle with Brad. Let's hear what they have to say. Going into the quarterfinals, I feel pretty confident because I'm familiar with the rules now. In my first match, I don't think I got anything wrong outside the math round. After the first round, when I had a 46 second lead, I felt pretty good about the rest of it. But the round I fear the most is certainly the math round. I did actually really well on every other round except that one. 336. 343. I am a little worried about Ogie's math skills because uh, if he's any good at all, he could end up building a big cushion on me in that round. Well, certainly Brad Rutter is the most formidable opponent in the general knowledge round. Uh, he, kn he knows more trivia than anybody in this tournament, but I feel a lot better having that first game under my belt. You know, until you get up there and actually play the game, a big fear was, you know, is the pressure going to get to me? And I think the one thing that I took away from Millionaire was simply just the awareness of the level of adrenaline and tension and stress that you're going to feel up there. So this time around, I was trying to prepare myself psychologically to handle the pressure that I felt when I was on Millionaire. There's a lot more speed involved in Jeopardy, which, I, which is why I think uh, that Jeopardy contestants might have a little bit of an advantage here. I studied computational neuroscience at Boston University, and so before I went on Millionaire, I tried to draw from my cognitive research to develop some techniques, trying to figure out how to retrieve knowledge very, very quickly. For example, on the anagrams, I tried to figure out how to improve anagram solving very fast, and I found that, for example, you don't look at the letters, you look above the letters, and there's a better chance that your verbal cognition will be able to pull out the answer. Ticonderoga. Correct. So it's going to be, you know, massive knowledge base versus, you know, cognitive tricks and some mental heuristics. So it's two completely different playing styles going head to head in this next game. I don't think I feel any more pressure as I go along. I'm sure the games will be a little tighter, but uh, that's really the only difference. And I'm just trying to see how well I can do. I'm kind of really philosophical about it. I definitely feel this is a championship match. I really think whoever takes this next game is going to win the whole thing. 